Welcome to Marshfield, Missouri, home of the Missouri Cherry Blossom Festival. Sit back, enjoy the tea, enjoy the goodies. What exactly is the Missouri Cherry Blossom Festival? A hodgepodge of American history and culture. From football to hee-haw. I think it's a slice of America that would surprise you. If you are a presidential descendant, would you stand? Well, for starters, it's the annual meeting place for relatives of past U.S. presidents. I'm the great-granddaughter of President Calvin Coolidge. My great-great-grandfather was the first cousin of James K. Polk. I'm the ninth generation descendant of President Thomas Jefferson and his slave Sally Hemings. Every spring, presidential descendants descend Ulysses S. Grant on this quaint town. President Clinton's stepfather, Roger Clinton, is my grandfather, Roy Clinton's little brother. I see the resemblance. It's you and Mary Todd Lincoln. Yes. They all come to celebrate their heritage. And partisanship is put on hold. So this is really the one day a year that a half-brother-in-law of President John F. Kennedy can rub elbows with a niece of President Richard Nixon. Yes. <laughs> I think it's pretty special, all of us yes, here. Yes. What happens there, though, his... In Marshfield, all presidential progeny are welcome. I'm Bertram Hayes Davis, and I'm a great-great-grandson of Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederate States of America. And old grievances are set aside. So this is just a great scene, I mean, I just have to say. So you've got a descendant of Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings with a descendant of Jefferson Davis. That's right. And you guys, you guys are very friendly. Yeah, well, we've been coming here for a lot of years. We're getting to know each other. We're just talking about him coming up to visit us in New York. We're like, come on, when are you coming? So rumor has it he was very fond of pastries. George Cleveland is President Grover Cleveland's grandson. Grover Cleveland is our 22nd and, and 24th president. That's right, screws up the whole count. But it's also unique. It is unique. There's something about being a presidential descendant that only presidential descendants can understand. Gracious Heavenly Father. It was Reverend Nicholas Inman's idea to invite all these people to Marshfield. They found a camaraderie between one another that is pretty amazing. You know, and it was kind of a story of, my grandpa beat your grandpa, but hey, we can be friends now. Inman was in the fourth grade when our 41st president came to town. President George H.W. Bush visited uh, Marshfield, Missouri here in July of 1991, and I really became interested in the president's. But wait a minute, who's that over there? Why, it's Carolyn Grimes, Zuzu from It's a Wonderful Life. Daddy? She's here because the Missouri Cherry Blossom Festival also honors stars of classic films and sitcoms. That's why we love them. Just go with it. Being a legend is being pretty lucky. Look, there's Maggie Peterson. She played Charlene on The Andy Griffith Show. Oh, Paul, can't I even look at the pretty man? <laughs> Over there, that's Lulu Roman from Hee Haw. Did a president yes. ever appear on Hee Haw? Uh, Jimmy Carter did. Ginger was a lucky cat. And yes, that's Mary McDonough and Cammy Cotler, two of the daughters from the Waltons. The Waltons were in Virginia. Virginia is not even contiguous with Missouri, just saying. <laughs> no, but the Ozarks are hills, and the Blue Ridge Mountains are hills. It's kind of like you took U.S. history and culture mm -hmm. and Missouri and put them all in a blender. And then exploded. And adding to the excitement, Marshfield has its own walk of fame. And it really was supposed to be a three hour tour. <laughs> Where we caught up with walk none other than Don Wells. Imagine everybody being rescued. Marianne from Gilligan's <laughs> Island. I'm not on Hollywood Boulevard, I'm right here. It's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. It means a lot more. Who am I next to? Your two stars away from Charles Lindbergh. And you're diagonally away from Amelia Earhart. That's pretty great. So you like flying, I hope. I hope. Better than sailing. OK. <laughs> and this April, it'll happen all over again. They've become a family now. And who knows what new connections might be made. Well, maybe I'm related to Thomas Jefferson, too. He did have a lot of kids. You never know. <laughs> You're part of the family. Come on, cuz. There we go. Here we are. We're all one big family. One big family. That's hilarious. <laughs>